The paddock is unusually packed on this warm June night at Indiana Grand. Most of the crowd is here to see number three, an Indiana-bred filly named A.J. Pacer. 50 people were given the opportunity to buy into the horse at $300 a share, and they've brought their friends and family along to watch her race. I myself had 17 people come just, just to watch her, and I'm sure the other owners had several people too, so it, it's turned into a very exciting experience. Like other fractional ownership clubs, the cost for Grand Gesture is fixed at 300 bucks. There won't be any extra vet bills coming in the mail. The fractional owners account for 1% of the horse. I always say I own the tip of her ear. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of AJ Pacer is owned by Mary Holman George, former chairwoman of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The filly is named for legendary driver AJ Foyt. What has surprised many of the Grand Gesture owners is the level of access and education that they're getting. Almost every Saturday morning is a barn visit. We come out and uh, interact with her, you know, feed her peppermints, love on her, uh, talk to Tony, find out how she's been doing during the week. On this Saturday morning, AJ's trainer, Tony Granitz, is fielding questions from the group as they watch the Phillies school in the gate. They're, they're creatures of habit, so they're in their routine every day, so when you do something different with them, that's usually sometimes the Next up, a bus ride to the backstretch, where owners and their families can take pictures, feed AJ peppermints, and learn some of the tricks of training a racehorse, like equine earplugs. So it's like a little golf ball. You know, we put them in their ears, and Lady Foghorn runs with them all the time. So and that's the first time we've tried them on her, trying to get her to relax. Again. And that's why she's so quiet around here. She don't hear nothing, and she's acting <laughs> like We want to show people who the athletes are and the backstretch workers, what goes in to put the horses, to get them together for the races. And it's not just going to the races, it's all behind the scenes, and people love to come back and see what's going on. But at the races, AJ's new owners are having a pretty good time too. After she finished fifth in this year's debut, her owners cheered her home to a third place finish next time out. And in her third race, they got a stretch running thrill as AJ fell just a neck short. Oh, so Thirsty outruns AJ Pacer to the finish. It's anxiety, it is acceleration, uh, you're happy, you're, you're worried until she crosses that line and comes back. Um, it's just so many emotions rolled into one. Although the experience is somewhat fleeting, at the end of this month, the partnership will be dissolved, at least until next year. Still, at least two of the Grand Gesture participants have already secured a new ownership experience for themselves. We got together, formed a small race stable, and uh, we got with Tony, and, and we're gonna be a 25% owner of a racehorse next year. That is part of the idea, to encourage ownership. Come to think of it, quite a few of racing's issues are being addressed here. Attracting the next generation of fans, helping people better understand the game, and making sure the focus of the sport remains on the horse. In Shelbyville, Indiana, I'm Scott Jagow for The Pollock Report.